This video is neck pain relief techniques that you need. My name is Dr. RJ Burr of Reach Rehab and Chiropractic Performance Center. I'm a sports chiropractor and rehabilitation specialist, and I picked out six stretches slash exercises for neck pain that you need to know now. Why did I pick these? Because I'm a clinician that treats lots of patients, and I find these six things are the top uh, postural hygiene exercises I give to my patients for their self-care to help them manage and correct their neck pain. Typically, I like to go into the why so people understand their problems, but this is a video and it's not specific to you, one individual person. And the truth is, based on analytics, nobody really wants to know the why. They skip to the stretches anyway, so let's just get to it. How this video is structured is that I pick two exercises for joint complex, two exercises for muscle, two exercises for nerve. Level one and level two for each. That equals six total. Why did I do that? Is because your joints, muscles, or nerves, they don't live in isolation. Typically, it's a complex where it could be more joint it could be more muscle, it could be more nerve, but they all tend to work together. So I recommend that you do one from each level. We work through those. If you graduate from those, or uh, maybe they don't work for you, you can choose level two. All right, so here we go. Exercise one, we're gonna start with the joint complex. This is exercise one of two in the joint complex level. And this is mid cervical extension with a band fulcrum. That's a mouthful for basically, we're gonna extend our spine to help mobilize the joints into extension. And we're gonna use a band as a fulcrum. Now, if you don't have an exercise band, you can always use something like a towel, a, uh, a pillowcase, uh, a rope. Heck, you can use your belt if you want to, but just you know, tell someone if you put a, a belt around your neck, let them know what you're doing ahead of time. You don't wanna scare anybody. All right, so I'm gonna use this band here. And essentially what we're doing is we're going to extend our neck back. Why are we going backward? Well, we spend a lot of time forward. That puts a lot of stress on our spine. We wanna mobilize backward to take that tension off. Simple as that. So I'm gonna take this band here. I'm gonna place it behind my neck and I'm simply gonna pull and look up. Pull and look up. If this hurts at all, a little bit of pain, that's okay. You just want to touch the pain or kiss the pain. Don't force it. We call that the Goldilocks zone. You don't wanna get out of that zone. So pull, look up to enhance the effect. If you can look up pretty far is that you pull and then you follow your, your hands with your eyes as you look up, pull, look up. Now you can move this up and down. So I can start at the lower neck, do that. I can go to the mid neck, pull, look up. I can go upper neck, pull, look up. You can do the whole thing, but I recommend you find the stiffest spot. It can be upper, it can be lower, it can be mid, I don't know. So just test it out. I recommend doing 10 of these at a time, at least three times a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. If you wanna do a little bit more, you can add a snack here and there. So that's 10 reps, five times a day. All right, exercise two is we're gonna work in some rotation. So for this, I'm gonna use a strap. Again, you can use a towel, you can use a belt, but again, with a belt, make sure you tell your spouse, whoever else, that you're not trying to choke yourself out, you're trying to stretch your neck out. So I'm gonna use this uh, band here, and uh, what we're gonna do is use this to help promote some rotation in the joint complex of your neck. So what you do is you let this drop here. Well, let me show you the move first. Basically what it does, it looks like this and it helps assist you in rotation, okay? The hard part is, is what do you do with your hands and then the rope and all, or the, the, the band and all that? Or what is this? A strap. So wrap it, put it around your neck like this, just kind of like a towel after a hard workout. And if I want to turn to the left, what I'm going to do is I'm going to crisscross my arms like this. Crisscross the arms. Since I'm going to the left, my left arm is coming up and this strap is going to go around my temple here across my ear. And then this right arm, this just kind of hangs out here. So this is going to, this arm, this hand will go up as this comes across. So this, you're kind of tugging and pulling or pushing, pulling with both hands here simultaneously. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my head to the left by using my left arm and pulling it to the left. And as you can see, my right hand will come up with it. And then I assist the come down with the right arm here. So pull across and come down, follow the Goldilocks zone, right? Of touch the pain, touch the pain and come back. If you can go all the way, add a little breath out, pull a little farther and come back. We'll switch sides. Remember towel, we're going to the right, right hand comes across, then left hand here, or left hand underneath. And then right hand comes up across the temple here. Make sure you're not mashing your ear. Good, and then I'm gonna pull with the right hand and then back down with the left. Pull with the right hand, back down the left. Do both sides, 10 reps at a time, at least three times a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Like I said, if you wanna do a little bit more, you can add a snack in here and there, or you're doing 10 reps on each side, five times a day. 
All right, next is exercise three. This is the first exercise of the muscle category. So with this, what we're gonna do is the most common muscle that's, irrita that's irritating to your neck is the levator scapula muscle. I call it the, hey honey, rub my shoulders muscle that runs through here. A super easy way to stretch that is that when you're in a chair, and I'll move back a little bit, is you can grab, if you can see here, the edge of the chair. And I'm gonna gently grab that uh, not too tight because that will tighten up the muscles of the neck and the shoulder, but just gently grab that. And then very simply what I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt away. When I tilt away, this pulls my shoulder down. That's going to stretch one part of that levator scapula muscle that's right up in here. Okay. Next is that we're going to tilt the head away. You'll start to feel some tightness of that muscle. And you can even see if you zoom in here is that you'll feel like a tight like guitar uh, string here or a tight band in this spot. That's your levator scapula muscle. So we're going to tilt to the left. And now when I have that on stretch there, what we're going to do is we're going to add some rotation left and right while maintaining a tilt. Okay, so follow along with me here. The easy thing to do is tilt away and then look your nose down towards your armpit and give it a little sniff. Not really, but you know what I mean. Stick your nose down there. You'll feel a big stretch there, but, but this muscle actually stretches both ways because this muscle with the other side helps with rotation. So you'll get like a, like a double whammy stretch that feels a little different. So now that my shoulders pulled down because I'm pulling onto the chair, I tilt away, my nose is here, I'm keeping the tilt. I'm gonna rotate down to the left first, feel that stretch. Now maintaining that tilt, watch me here, I'm gonna rotate to the right and now I feel another stretch that's a little bit different here and I'll rotate back and forth. I go five each side because that equals 10. 10 is the magic number here. Good, and then we can switch sides. Grab the edge of the chair, lean away to pull the shoulder down, tilt away, rotate right, ooh, feel that big stretch, and then rotate left to feel another stretch there. Five each side there, take a break, repeat that for three times a day. And again, if you want to, you can do five times a day. Next is muscle move number two, which is then exercise four. This one we're gonna use, we're gonna, again, mobilize that levator scapula muscle, but we're gonna use a lacrosse ball or some sort of ball. Hey, a little change of scenery for exercise four, which is uh, exercise two in the muscle category, really it's more of a, a muscle release, is we're gonna do the levator scapula muscle, but now with a lacrosse ball. If you don't have a lacrosse ball, you can use any type of ball, racquetball, tennis ball, dog toy, uh, whatever balls you can think of. Um, so we're gonna take this reach lacrosse ball, it's pretty handy dandy, and we're gonna use this to put some compression into some knotty tissue in the back of your uh, or upper shoulder blade area. It's basically where the levator scapula muscle is origin into its uh, in the shoulder blade. So I call this the hey honey rub my shoulders muscle right through here. You know what I'm talking about. If you rub right through here, it's a little knotty. Take that ball and what you can do is place it on the wall and you simply seek and destroy. You're gonna try to search out to that area which you'll find pretty quickly, like right about there, it's pretty knotty there. And then you can go between the spine and the shoulder blade and you can roll around you. See I'm doing here, find a spot. You can roll through it, but I wouldn't recommend grinding through it. Sometimes it's just unnecessary pain. What I really recommend doing that's way more efficient and effective is finding a nasty spot and then holding that spot specifically, lean some of your body weight in it so it's uncomfortable but tolerable, and then breathe through it for 90 seconds. Breathe through your nose. That consistent pressure called ischemic compression helps release those knots way better than just grinding through it, even though it might seem more effective or more, you're doing more by grinding through it, but it's, it's actually the opposite. So find a spot, breathe through it 90 seconds, and you might find a couple spots. If you move around a little bit more, find that spot and breathe through it. If you wanna add a little bit more, like we did with the previous uh, muscle stretch, is we can add some neck motion here. So now that I have a spot, as you can see the ball here, I'm now gonna tilt away and rotate away like I did in the last one, and keep that tilt, add some rotation. Good, come back and forth. Good, I'll give a couple reps each side. But ultimately you wanna find a couple knots 90 seconds each spot, do both sides, repeat that about three times a day. And as like always, if you want a couple more in there, you can throw it in there. 
Now moving on to the nerve category. This is exercise five, but exercise one of the nerve category. So we're gonna do some nerve flossing and we're gonna floss the median nerve because the most common one that needs some flossing or some mobilization to reduce sensitivity if you have some nerve pain involved with your neck pain. Uh, so the first one is gonna be a slider and the second one will be a tensioner. But to understand the difference, we gotta start with the first one. So this is a slider, all right? So what nerve flossing does is it just mobilizes the nerve that goes through your neck and then down your arm and it creates some slide and glide and mobility to decrease some that sensitivity. How we do that is as simple as this. I'm gonna be like a little teacup, short and stout here, and I'm gonna bring my fingertips to my shoulder, head forward. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the hand like this and then look our head toward the hand simultaneously and then we'll bring it back. So what it looks like is I'm gonna open up the hand down and really bring those fingertips down too. You might feel a little bit tinglies in there and that's okay. Bring that down, rotate, look at the hand, and then bring it back. Rotate down and bring it back. What we're doing there is we're taking that nerve and we're sliding it back and forth, hence why it's called a slider. Now if this is painful, touch the pain, remember Goldilocks zone, right there, and bring it back, don't force it. Now for many of you, you might find this is just too easy. You can feel a little bit of you know, tension there, but not too much. You're gonna to wanna to upgrade this to a tensioner. This is actually pulling on both ends. So that was a slider. This one is pulling or stretching that nerve on both ends. Again, this is great for desensitizing the nerve, reducing some nerve pain that comes from your neck. But again, follow the Goldilocks zone. It's the same thing as the slider, except we're gonna look away this time. So we're gonna go here and I'm gonna look away and open up. Look away and open up. You'll feel the most amount of tension or stretch through here and back. Look away and back. Look away and back. Do about 10 times each side, three times a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And if you wanna throw in a couple snacks and they're to equal five times a day, you can. That was exercise or stretch six. Um, and that was the last one for the nerve category. So we went through all those exercises through there. So what I recommend is using category one for joint, which is the band and extension. Category or uh, exercise one for category of muscle, which was the chair stretch for the levator scapula muscle. And then doing the nerve slider first, which is category one for nerve. I would do all three of those at least three times a day. Stick with that first. Remember the Goldilocks zone. If you want to do more, you can do up to five times a day. Give that at least a week, gosh, even a couple weeks of doing that. See how you're feeling. See how your moving function is important because you're not moving very well because of pain, but now you're moving better. That's a good sign. You're on the right track. Keep going with it. If you want to upgrade it or this is getting older, you're tolerating these moves really, really well and you want to boost it a little bit more, well, switch to uh, the exercise two of each category. For joint, we have the belt rotation one or the, with the strap. Then we have the lacrosse ball for the muscle and then the tensioner for the nerve floss. All right, give these a try. Let me know if you need questions. If you like this content, like, comment, subscribe, yada, yada, you know what to do. We'll see you in the next video.